Well, what a thrilling end to that Southwest derby here at Ashton Gate. We've got two of the league contenders. Gareth Steenson obviously had got a, a penalty try at the end there. Thought you might have to take a rather nervy conversion there. Were you surprised you were given a penalty try? Oh, a little bit, yeah, to be fair. Like, you know, but, you know, I don't really know an awful lot about driving balls and stuff. I was pretty pleased whenever we just see the score going in. And thankfully, whenever the referee's running over the post, saves me having to take a kick, so that's really good. It goes almost without saying that was the hardest you've had to work so far this season for victory, isn't it, in the Premiership? It is, yeah. No, for, full credit to Bristol. You know, that's a real hard-fought victory for our guys. Like, you know, we knew it was going to be tough coming up here. A lot of us haven't played for a couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, it was a wee bit rusty maybe to start with. But, look, these guys really put in a big shift and we're delighted, obviously, to come away with the points. Let's get the other side of this contentious coin. Uh, John, obviously, you guys, you guys flew into Exeter. You played brilliantly. It's the best we've seen you play so far. It felt like you were going to win it. You must have felt like... If it wasn't one, it was close. So do you feel like completely distraught now or can you actually still smile and take something from what you just produced? Yeah, you know, we've had like a good three, five week uh, break to sort of work on our game plan. And you, like you said, we started really well, but I think in the end, that last sort of 15 minutes, you know, we gave them a lot of penalties. Their scrum started to go. They got their width in the game, started to fall off tackles and, you know, a five metre line out, Exeter's ball is going to be a hold, tough to hold them out. Disappointed at the end, but you know what I mean. Like we're proud of the way we played. We gave them a good shot, and you know, plenty of games next week. And you personally look like you're really enjoying yourself out there. You play a lot of games. You put a lot of minutes in over the years, but you're still chucking no look passes, scoring tries, <laughs> right? Standard stuff. Yeah, just enjoying my rugby. You know what I mean. We've got a great team down here, great culture. You know, when we come out on the field, it's a celebration, and we just want to play that game, get the crowd in, great crowd tonight, and just excite the men. You know, we're there, nearly there, but not quite good enough. So. We've got another game, I think we'll list, uh, watch the game next week, so put a little resolute out there and see what happens. But let's leave that microphone in John's face, but I want to ask you, that last contentious decision there, did you see that as a penalty try? Yeah, it was tough, you know what I mean? There's a lot of bodies everywhere. Uh, we're just pushing, we thought we got the one call. Obviously, it's gone over the line, and then it's just up to the ref. He's gone straight away, can't do anything about it. You know, it would have been nice to go upstairs, see if there was any real foul play, but see what happens. And I've just got also asked this, Flats, who've got a Kiwi and an Irishman. Did you watch it, lads? Did you watch the All Blacks game yesterday? Yeah, of course I watched the boys, you know what I mean? Uh, a couple of, I wouldn't say a couple of Coronas, or a couple of Diet Cokes last <laughs> night, but um, don't tell Pat that. But uh, yeah, that was a good game to watch. Uh, hopefully, the boys can finish well in Rome. Gareth, how big a dent, you just lost your, nearly lost your aura of invincibility, you didn't hear. How big a dent do you think in the All Blacks aura of invincibility was that victory? Oh, the victory yesterday? Yeah. I think, you know, it's a big big result for, obviously, for Ireland, obviously, to win at home and do it in the first ever time in, on home soil. I know they did it in the USA, but it's great to finally, you know, get that monkey off their back in Dublin. And But I think in the grand scheme of things, you know, it's 11 months out from the Rugby World Cup, and uh, but it'll give the boys great confidence going forward. And... Uh, it's great to see them getting uh, finally getting that result. Well, boys, both of you well played today. Great spectacle well done, for us viewers. Thanks very much for well talking done, to us. You go and head off Cheers. into your change room, guys. Well played. Yeah, the handshake between the two of you. And I want you to. I can leave, leave you hanging there. Just a quick hug. <laughs> Cheers, boys.